per definition, MVC stands for Model View Controller. But what are these concepts and how are they related to each other? A model is just a C -sharp class that represents a table in the SQL server in this case. So it basically serves as a data blueprint and can also be used to define the data relations. So, for example, in our app, we have producers, we have movies, we have actors, etc. Now, to store all this data in our database, we need to create tables. And to create tables, we are going to create the models. So, for example, we are going to have producer model, movie model, actor, etc. A view, as the name already indicates, is what the user gets to see. So, it is a file that represents the user interface. And an MVC view is a CS HTML file, where CS stands for C Sharp and HTML for the HTML code. So the C Sharp HTML files, or the Razor views as we call them, are just a combination of the C Sharp and the HTML code. From the view, you can trigger the requests or the events that get handled by the controllers. Now, a controller will receive the events, then will prepare a response, and then just return the response to the view. A controller is just a C -sharp class that inherits from the controller base class. Throughout this course, you are going to create producer controller, movies controller, actors controller, etc. But how are the views, the models, and the controllers related to each other? Now, to better understand the MVC, let us first take as an example a web application. Now, in a web application, you have a browser, you have a server, and a database. The way these components work with each other is that you send a request from the browser, you send it from the browser to the server, then the server will get the data from the database, and once the data is ready, the server will return the data to the browser. The same way in MVC, now instead of a browser, you have a view. Then instead of a server, you have a controller. And then instead of the database, you have the models which are used to communicate with the database. So let us say the user clicks on a button or just searches for a movie, in our case. Then the request will be sent from the view to the controller. Then the controller will get the request based on the parameters or no parameters at all, will construct a response by getting some data from the database using the models. And once the response is ready, the response will be returned to the view. So let us go to the app that we are going to build. So what you first see in here is the view. So in here we have, for example, in our app, we have a view that is used to display all the movies. But if you go to, for example, the show details, this is another view that is used to return data. So basically when you are in the movies and then click in here the show details. So I'm now sending a request to a controller. The controller will get the request. So in this case is the home controller, details action result and the parameter is the ID number three. It will get some data from the database by using the models, the necessary models and then return the response to the view. So in here basically have a controller which will get a request from the view, use the models to get some data from the database, and then return another view or it can be the same view with some data. 